we've got a package. I know it's been a little while since I've posted. I'm sorry about that. My town that I live in, Asheville, got hit pretty hard by Hurricane Helene. We ended up losing power and water. I'm still without water over a week and a half later. I've been staying with family out of state for the past week or so, but I'm finally home and have a couple of packages to open up. And first, we're gonna be starting with this one. And when I say I have a couple packages to open up, I don't mean three or four different videos. I mean one video where I opened four packages. About two or so months ago, one of my friends sent me a link to an eBay listing of an iPhone 15 housing that happened to be an original Apple part. Now, I don't know if this is from a repair center or if it's one of the Apple self-service parts, but it was a brand new iPhone 15 housing complete with a logic board, battery, etc., only missing a screen, camera, and back glass. It was listed at $99 plus tax and shipping. I got this down to $85 and then went ahead and picked out the other parts that I needed to repair it. Without further ado, I'm really excited about this package and have been waiting quite a while since I purchased it around two weeks ago. So let's just go ahead and get started. Go ahead and cut the tape holding this oversized box together. Other way. And now we'll go ahead and open the box. And to reveal a very ominous wad of brown paper. Go ahead and remove that. And we're met with a very generic white box. This box actually has the IMEI, MEID, EID, and serial number of the phone in this box on it, which is pretty cool. Looks like this sticker over here is already cut. So we'll go ahead and open it from this end. And now go ahead and pull out the iPhone 15 itself. Of course, this is just a housing, but nevertheless, this is an iPhone 15. It just needs a little bit of work. So inside of the main box with the iPhone 15 housing, of course we got the iPhone 15 housing, brand new, sealed in plastic. We also have a little piece of, I honestly can't tell, it looks like really thick cardboard with a part number on it. I'm not gonna show that as I'm not sure if it is sensitive. I'm just gonna play it safe, but I believe this is used to help identify parts. So at this point in time, I am still unsure if this is from an Apple repair center or if this is a do-it-yourself repair part, but I guess we'll find out at some point. But as you can tell with this housing, there is no back glass on it. There's no rear camera, and of course there is no screen. From that, you can probably take a wild guess at what parts I have to unbox next. So next up, we have the camera. Not sure why it's shipped in such a large envelope, but I do know that this is the camera. I've decided I'm just gonna cut it open. The camera's right here, so I'm just gonna slice right here and just rip apart the package. And inside of here, we should have the rear camera for the iPhone 15. Go ahead and rip open the envelope and pull out a camera wrapped inside of a little plastic bag. Next up, we have the iPhone 15 screen. The shipping label is on the other side of this envelope, so I'm not gonna be showing that, but I'll just go ahead and cut the top. Go ahead and pull the brand new iPhone 15 screen out. Now, one thing I forgot to say, this is also a brand new Apple part. The camera is the only thing that I'm putting in this phone that is not an absolutely brand new Apple OEM part. This is brand new. It has been taken out and tested on another device, but nevertheless is still an absolutely 100% unused and brand new Apple OEM iPhone 15 screen. And you guessed it, next up is the back glass. They shipped it in such a large and padded box that I had to go ahead and adjust my camera. This like I said, is an original Apple part. This one is also brand new, like the housing and screen. Camera is the only thing that's not brand new, although it is OEM. Go ahead and cut the seal on this box. Go ahead, rip the tape, rip the other side, and rip the last piece. We'll go ahead and pull out the back glass with quite a bit of padding. We'll go ahead and unwrap it and reveal, let's see, yet another ominous white box very similar to how the housing arrived. We'll go ahead and open up this ominous white box. You see first we have a waterproofing seal. Speaking of that, there should also be one included with the screen. We have another piece that I'm honestly not sure what it is. We have a piece of green paper. This may even be a sticker. Not sure what this is either. We have the beautiful blue back glass itself and another one of those white pieces of thick cardboard. Overall here are the parts that I received to build my iPhone 15. We've got a back camera, a housing with a logic board, battery, etc., a screen, and a back glass. 
with some adhesive. I think there's adhesive in here as well. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that most of this video can actually be done without the need of a time lapse. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the screen to the gorgeous iPhone 15 with a regular speed video instead of a time lapse, as it's a really quick and easy process. I'm gonna leave all the seals on just for now, as you never know, I may end up needing to return these parts. Set the iPhone up like a book with the screen propped up and first connect the connector for the screen and secondly, the connector for the sensors at the top. Now, I'll go ahead and just rest the screen down for now and we'll see if this brand new test part has power. It looks like unfortunately it does not, so I am gonna need to put it on a charger. I'll get back to you guys as soon as this thing has powered up. Okay, so as soon as I connected a MacBook Pro charger to this iPhone, it has already started to turn on. So I turned the camera right back on in hopes of catching it booting up for the very first time. Looks like it immediately booted into the diagnostics menu. I pulled it away for just a moment to take a look at it and the battery immediately died. Looks like she needs some time to charge after all. Okay, so the iPhone 15 got enough power to start right back up. After taking a look at this for a minute, I realized that this is the iOS 18 finish repair system. So that answers one question of mine is whether it was running iOS 18. Now that I've confirmed it does function, I mean, I have touch, as you can see. That's about all I needed to see is if the phone turned on at least. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera and back glass on here, clamp it down so that I can go ahead and try to finish the repair on the phone through the software. So first off, I will just go ahead and shut down the phone. And for now, since there's no adhesive and I know I can get the screen back off, I'll just go ahead and clamp it down into place. Now it's actually looking partially complete. Now next up, of course, is the rear camera, which I'll go ahead and just slide out of this bag once again. And man, that 48 megapixel main sensor really is gorgeous. I cannot wait to test out this phone. Go ahead and slot it into place. And like I said, I don't have any screws, so it's kind of just being held in with hopes and prayers. Okay, so I lost a little bit of the footage from when I originally recorded this video, but right here in the video is when I went ahead and off camera, put the camera into the phone and then put the back glass on. I believe I recorded the back glass, but I simply cannot find the footage. Okay, so after connecting to Wi-Fi, it showed an Apple support screen with nothing but an exit button. I went ahead and clicked on that and it seems like the phone is just going to restart. We'll try this again and see what we're gonna have to do to get this phone set up properly. We'll go ahead and click on start session once again, connect to my iPhone's personal hotspot as we still don't have Wi-Fi. And this is exactly what it did last time. No way to do anything. If I click on exit, it says, this will end your diagnostic session with Apple support. When the phone reboots this time, I'm gonna click exit diagnostics instead of continuing with it. Now the phone is booted back up, I'm gonna click exit and hopefully the phone will reboot into iOS instead of the diagnostics. Looks like we are in a diagnostics loop. What if I try exiting once again? Let's see if we get iOS. Looks like we're stuck in a diagnostic boot loop. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get past this. 80 minutes later. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half. I ended up downloading iOS 18.0 on my MacBook using my iPhone's hotspot, which took forever. Ended up restoring the phone to iOS 18. I believe it was probably running iOS 17, possibly even 17.0, unfortunately. But I did, unfortunately, have to restore it. But now I believe I may be able to do the part pairing process that is now available with iOS 18. And yes, the phone booted directly back into the diagnostics menu. There is basically no way to avoid it from what I can tell. Once my hotspot shows up, there it is. I'll go ahead and connect. And now we'll go ahead and agree and we'll see if I'm able to pair the parts. We'll go ahead and tap finish repair and we'll see what the phone is able to do. Looks like all three of these are genuine Apple parts and the phone is able to go ahead and pair them using software. We'll click continue. We'll wait for it to configure and we'll click on restart. Restart iPhone and now we wait. Strangely enough, the phone seems to have booted straight back into the diagnostic menu. Whatever, we'll click continue and let me do this all over again. We'll go ahead and connect to Apple support. Agree, finish repair. Okay, this is the same thing we just saw. We'll go to continue and we'll try this one more time. It is now November 21st, about six weeks later. Where I left off with this iPhone 15 was where it was in a state of stuck in a diagnostic and repair mode boot loop. And as of today, November 21st, this iPhone 15 
is still stuck in that exact same boot loop. The battery is currently dead as I have no reason to charge this phone, but after trying absolutely everything I could, my hope of building an iPhone 15 from scratch unfortunately did not work out. This is actually the first time I've had a video like this not work out in a long time. I'm most definitely upset about this, but as it has been six weeks since I first started this, I have pretty much accepted it. This iPhone 15 has been restored in iTunes a total of five times now. Back when iOS 17 was still signed, I tried versions of 17, 18.0, 18.0.1, and finally 18.1. Nothing worked. So just about a week ago, I took the phone to Apple to have them take a look and see if there's anything that they could do with the phone. Unfortunately, I wasted about an hour of my time just to find out that there's nothing they can do whatsoever. The logic board and housing that I bought for this iPhone 15 is an Apple internal part that will not function properly unless it's configured with some of the stuff that only Apple has. So unfortunately, the iPhone 15 build project is dead. I'm upset that it didn't work, but I will move on. I just restored up an iPhone 13 recently, so at least I have a new secondary phone to use anyway. Even though the end of this video wasn't as happy as I expected, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me at least try to do something that I've been wanting to do for a little while. And if you're new, please consider subscribing as, as of right now, only 6% of my viewers are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you have not already, please smash that subscribe button as you can really help me in reaching my goal of 7,000 subscribers. And while I'm at it, it's time for member shout outs. Huge shout out to Apple helper Mark. As of right now, he is my one and only member, but huge shout out to him. Of course, there will be a link to his channel down in the description. If you're interested in joining my channel memberships or at least taking a look at them, there's also a link down in the description that'll lead you straight to a page where you can do just that. But yet again, huge thanks to Apple helper Mark for being a member of my channel. Anyways, there's not much else to say here other than thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, peace out, guys.